Hi guys, my name is Christine and I'm a dating relationship and personal development coach. Today I'm talking about stop wasting time on women. And basically why it's really important, especially if you're single and you're trying to find love or perhaps you're tr still trying to get over an ex. Why it's a good idea to stop focusing your attention on women or relationships. Um, if you're a woman watching this, you know, is why it's a good opportunity while you're single to really focus on yourself, to really focus on your own goals for a while. Now, why is this important? Why is this important when you're trying to attract an ex back? Why, why is this important when you're dating and you're trying to find love and bring love into your life? So the reason why it's important is because it takes that level of desperation out of the equation, which is often the reason why you can chase off exes that you want back, which is why you can often chase off women or men that you're interested in when you start dating because you have this desperation because you're so desperate for a relationship so you're so, because you're so desperate to get back together so you've got to stop wasting your time on women on relationships while you're single and focus on yourself for a while okay because if it's an issue for you to be single then it's going to be an issue for you to find love and the reason why i say that is because the more you focus on desperately trying to find a relationship right it makes you, like I said, it makes you more desperate, but also it makes you realise, with kind of not really knowing it, and perhaps, um, that you're, you can't be alone, right? And that's your issue, like, because if, if you're desperate for a relationship, there's probably some part of you that doesn't like being alone, that feels like they can't be alone. But let me tell you this, if you can enjoy your own company, if you if it doesn't bother you that you're alone, if it doesn't bother you that much that you, you know, that you are not in a relationship, then it's more likely that when you do actually find the right person for you, um, it's going to work out so much better and you're not going to chase them off because you know that if something were to happen, you would be okay going it alone. Okay, now I'm married um, recently had a baby too. Um, so, you know, I'm very attached to my marriage and, and my relationship. Okay. But I know if something were to happen, right, let's say she disrespected the marriage in some way, like she cheated on me or, I don't know, hit me or something like that. I mean, a deal breaker there. Then I know that if I were to go single again, I would be okay. Like I know that in my heart, I know how to use my time wisely, I know um, that I'm okay being alone. Okay, yes, it would suck. Yes, it would be awful. Yes, it would be a horrible, drawn-out process to get separated and things like that. And it would probably be a very miserable time. But I know that I am okay being on my own. Like, I know how to um, make myself healthy mentally. I know how to process things. I know how to, you know, get back on track, basically, when these things happen, because I've had, you know, breakups in the past where I've had time alone, and um, it's built me up, because I've been able to work on other things, been able to build my confidence back up, because, you know, if you, if you, if when you go for a separation, whether it's with, like, a long-term relationship, or even a short-term relationship, it can really um, lower your self-esteem especially if you got dumped right that can really lower your self-esteem make you make you feel unlovable make you feel horrible about yourself so you need time to really build yourself back up again after those experiences okay and it's the same if you're with the the, the um the dumper you know you still need time to process things you still need time to be on your own to adjust to learn you know to adjust in this new lifestyle of being single again okay <clears throat> so it's really important that you can master this, right? Master being alone, master being being able to enjoy yourself alone, right? Being able to have that good quality time with yourself and to be able to use that time wisely to be productive, not numbing yourself because this is something that people do when they go for a breakup or they're trying to find love or something like that because they're so lonely and unhappy. They numb themselves by watching too much Netflix, by binging on TV and things like that. Um, by um, eating too much, doing things that are really unhealthy for them, playing too many video games, because they're numbing the pain. They don't want to, they can't sit with their feelings, essentially, right? And you've got to be able to sit with your feelings. You've got to be able to understand them and process them, right? Which is why you've got to stop wasting time on women, right? Because if you're focused too much on that, if you're focused too much on relationships, trying to get a woman to commit to you, 
then it's going to have the opposite effect. You're going to come across as desperate. You're going to come across as needy. But if you're okay being alone and you know, like, okay, yeah, I'm dating this woman. Yeah, I think she's really nice. Um, but it's okay. It's okay if she doesn't reciprocate down the line. It's okay if she goes off me because I know that, you know, in the future I'll be fine. I'll be okay. I know how to get myself back on my feet, right? It's the same if you're going through a breakup, yeah? If, let's say, you got broken up with, right, you got to be able to say to yourself, you know, it'd be great if we got back together, but, you know, it's also okay if we don't. Like, I know that if they don't come back in my life, I'm going to be fine. I'm going to be okay, okay? And that's where you, that's a place that you need to get to because, first of all, it's very freeing. And secondly, you know that whatever life throws at you, when especially when it comes to romance, that you'll be okay because you know how to be on your own. You know that it's going to be okay. You know that it's going to be fine. You know that, yeah, it may suck, being single or it may suck being broken up with when you really wanted to stay together but at the end of the day you know that you're going to be okay because you know that you, you you've got these healthy habits like exercising regularly eating the right things you're not binging on um you know netflix or food or, or video games too much whatever it may be you're not you know hiding or numbing your feelings um and you've got all these healthy habits like perhaps you've got some goals that you're working towards that you're trying to achieve and things like that and you know that's 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 great Right, if you've got those things, that's great. Right, and if you haven't got those things, then I highly recommend that you get yourself a few goals for yourself. Right, maybe it'll be a goal of it might be like some kind of exercise goal, some kind of health goal, um, and maybe it's a financial goal too. Perhaps you would like to get a promotion in your job, or perhaps you would like to find a better job for yourself. You can make that a goal. Right, or perhaps you'd like to have your own side hustle, your own side business. Right, that you can work on. Right, so you can have the life that you desire because if you are being productive and if you've got goals and you're trying to achieve them and you're working on those pretty much every day even if you do have a few breaks then you're going to feel much better about yourself because as human beings we are goal striving creatures when we have a goal for ourselves we tend and we're working towards those goals and we're not procrastinating we tend to feel a lot better about ourselves so for the time being if you've been feeling bad about being single or the fact that you got broken up with and you're in a really low mood Put your focus off of romance for a while. Put your focus off of women for a while, okay? And focus on some other things instead and learn to enjoy being single. Because if you can enjoy being single, it's not going to bother you so much if you get broken up with um, the breakup itself, if you're already going for a breakup or if you're single. And if it's not bothering you, you're less likely to be needy and insecure and chase off that woman or that special person when that new beautiful person does enter your life okay so thank you so much for watching if you'd like to get in touch with me personally and you'd like coaching with me then please go to www.christineloverage.com and i shall talk to you again very very soon okay goodbye guys take care